Hey guys, it's Ned from Winset Farms. Today I'm going to show you how to turn these short but sweet little beauties, these dolce peppers from Winset Farms, into a mac and cheese. And the great thing about this mac and cheese is that the kids will love it. First thing I need to do is roast the peppers, 375 degrees in an oven for about 20 minutes. These won't take as long as normal, and all we want to do is just blister the outside so that we can peel the skins. They're really sweet, really nice and tender, so they won't take long at all. While those are cooking in the oven, we're going to start with our sauce. Now, I'm making a very simple macaroni and cheese sauce. About three tablespoons of butter, just in a medium to large pot. What's going to turn out to be about half of a white onion, finely diced. White onion, red onion, yellow onion will work just fine. The kids won't even know that the onion's in there, but it's going to add a little bit of background flavor. The great thing about this dish is it's simple, it's short and sweet and really quick to make. We have cream cheese, we have aged white cheddar, and optional, we have smoked cheddar. Now, I love the flavor of smoked cheddar. It's really mild in its smokiness, but it adds great background flavor, and of course, Everybody loves macaroni and cheese to look orange, right? Well, because we're using white cheese, white milk, by adding the Winset roasted peppers, it's going to turn it orange, which the kids, of course, everybody eats with their eyes and the kids will love. So, sauteing our onion off. That's great. We'll add a little bit of salt at the beginning. Always add salt at the beginning because it starts to enhance the flavor of your sauce. Pasta's already cooked. We're using shells. I love the shells because they, they sort of soak up lots of the sauce. You could use macaroni, could use penne, you could use basically whatever pasta you want. We have our whole milk and we have some white wine, which is completely optional. We will add a little bit of white wine now. Then we will add our milk. And then we will add equal amounts of all of our cheeses. And all we have to do is let that come up to a simmer. All we're trying to do is melt the cheeses in here. We're not trying to bring this to a boil. So as soon as that comes up to a light simmer, then we're almost done. All right, so our sauce has come up to a simmer really gently. Now at this point, we can take our little dolce peppers that we've roasted. And just to clarify, 375 degrees for about 20 minutes. What happens is they get nice and simple to peel. Just peel off the skins like that. And then what you're left with, we have orange and yellow, are those. Throw them in about two cups. They're already been roasted, so they don't need to be cooked anymore. And then we just blend it. Okay, so our sauce is all finished. Now we can just take the pasta that we already cooked, our shells, can add that right in. And at this point, we can do a few different things. We can either serve the pasta right away, just like so, just as a macaroni and cheese. You could garnish with some more cheese on top. But the way I love to do it is to bake it. Now look at that. Every kid will love this mac and cheese. And here's the final garnish for our Winset golden mac and cheese. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh yeah. And the last thing is a few cheddar crackers. I call them cheese crunchies, garnish on top. Wow, look at that. I can't wait to dive in. This is a smash hit mac and cheese. 